The instructions are in English, German, French, Danish, Spanish, Italian, Dutch, Czech, Portuguese, Polish, Russian, Japanese, Mandarin Chinese, Cantonese, and Korean. But we see that Bodum is a registered trademark of Pi Design AG in Switzerland. So that is an original Bodum 350 mil or 12 ounce French press. This marvel of engineering contains SC2 Burr. That's a Rockwell Hardness 58 grinder. We can see this is called the Chestnut C Series. And it's from Shanghai Time More Coffee Equipment Comporton. Here is called the C Max. It holds 30 grams. You can scan this 2D barcode with your phone by focusing in on that for the transparency app related to this. If we open the box here, we can see that the unit came here the like this the handle was over here there's a cleaning brush to see how this works it's very simple the handle pops off the top here so you have to exert torque on it excuse the shaky camera so this pops off like this there's an inset if you See here, there's an inset hex there that interfaces with the nut here. You drop your coffee beans down here, and then the grinder settings are down here. You start by tightening it clockwise all the way tight, and then eight clicks to the left is for espresso, seven or eight. After that's for pour over between 13 and 16 and 16 to 24 is for French press. So, and they show with graphical that it goes from fine to coarse. And then it's described in text and the brand. Um, and then this is the receiver that catches. These are machined very nicely. This is cool because they just thread together. It's a nice analog sound. The textured grip on here is great. This just press fits onto the top. It kind of automatically aligns. And then it's so smooth with no coffee in it. it the double ball bearing system allows the handle to just freely rotate like that. It's exceptionally well made. It comes with a carrying bag like this, a certification card. And then the instructions in this one are in several different languages as well. But there's the instructions on how to grind. If you are so interested. I don't know why it's not focusing. So you can see how it's assembled. So between that and then this is the Bodum Chambord French press, three cup coffee maker. It's 350 mil or 0.35 liter or 12 ounce. It's a French press. You see like that. Got it at the world market. Made in Portugal. Chrome or gold copper, that's borosilicate glass, stainless steel, and plastic. So if we take a close look, this filler measurement cup is plastic. And then if we pull the, the basket out here, that's the screen filter and, this, and the spring and the mount. This is plastic here and it allows you to pour through that part. This is uh, chrome-plated steel 
or just stainless steel, I'm not sure. That's the borosilicate glass. It can probably be removed, not easily, but it can be pulled out of the holder here. Borosilicate can withstand rapid temperature swings. There's a bunch of warnings on here. Not for stovetop, read instructions, handling flat, hot fluids with care, always use coarse ground coffee, always stir before pressing down using a plastic or wooden spoon, not metal. Ensure that the safety lid is in position before pressing down and then press down very gently. That's your operating guide. You can read it there like that. It's in French too. You can see very high quality, nicely made. The handle is plastic, probably propylene, it's chrome or nickel stainless steel. Good quality, almost like chemical glassware. That's the instruction. I'm not going to flip through the whole thing, obviously. It's a French press. They go through how to use it. If you don't know how to use it, you put your coarse ground coffee into the top. You add your hot water, 185, 190 degrees. Fahrenheit, what is that, 85, 90 centigrade, something like that. You give it a stir, you wait 90 seconds or whatever, three minutes, five minutes. Then after you let it settle and set up, you set up this like this so that the screen right there is near the pour spout. And then you very gently press this down and it pushes the coffee grounds down and the water is left behind and that is your French press operation. This is a quality control check. 662, that's the quality controller. The cardboard is folded over so that it encapsulates the stem here. If we look inside, pull up, we can see it's very well packaged with this air cushion material wrapped around here inside of a plastic bag. If we open it, we see the instructions inside and a plastic spoon. Probably the best way to brew coffee, the coffee lover's favorite method, quick and easy to use, dishwasher safe. Use coarse ground coffee. Add hot water and stir. 
wait four minutes and press, enjoy a good cup of coffee. So here we are in the refrigerator. I'm actually going to do a cold brew in here by just leaving it with room temperature fil filtered water like that overnight. For the cold brew, I actually went to 20 clicks uh, counterclockwise and I got a nice coarse sand. Um, that's what they recommend, 17 to 20 clicks for the French press. So I figured coarse would be better for a cold brew. That double bulb bearing system is so smooth, it is amazing. Really easy to crank.